Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It's Marissa and I have a project share that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I made this project a couple weeks ago, you know, the paper purses um, that I saw the tutorial by, I think May, I think her name is May May Made It, but I will link the video down below um, and then I'll also link my video where I made purses, the paper purses for, um, watching that link. So. I want to share with you guys more purses that I made. I made them a little bit different this time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I used. I busted out old school, you guys. And I used this K&Company Company Susan Winglet paper. So I used one of those. I used this one. And I'm just showing you um, all the different papers that I used. And then I used this paper studio one and I use this die cuts with the view happy day stack and this is a newer stack that they have now um, by die cuts with the view at Joann's so I picked this one up at Joann's I use this Teresa Collins um, die and it's one of those big ones and it's called cabbage rose and I don't know if you could see it, um, but it's so pretty, guys. So I used that, and then I used uh, my Brenda Walton French bow dye. Um, you guys saw a video that I did using this dye, cutting it out with um, full leather. So I made more of these. Well, kind of. I just used them. <laughs> I didn't make more. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one that I made. And like I said, I did it a little bit different um, than the other ones that I made. So the first one that I made is this one. Look at how cute it is. And I don't know if you could see it, but I did emboss the paper. Can you see that? I embossed the black paper just to give it some texture. And then I just added this um, bow using the glitter... Um, fabric from Hobby Lobby and that's all I did and the other bag that I did I um, made I had like um, a border around the purse and then I had a, a um, like a closure but all the bags that I made um, today do not have a closure so it's super simple um, and the reason why I did that was because I wanted to add the bow and I think the bow was just enough and it was just perfect to add to the purse because I think if I did this and did that it would be too much so and this would be cute for like a little gift bag has some tissue papers coming out from the top so there's the first one and then the second one that I made is this one it's the um, polka dot and I did it the same where I just added the bow and then but this time I added a um, a bling in the center of the bow. This is actually a, I think this was a ring that I popped off the bow from. So I thought that one turned out really cute. And I used um, the die cutting the uh, full leather that I have as well for that one. So I have that one. And then the next one I made is using the um, King Company paper. Look at how cute. And this one is double-sided paper. And these purses would be really cute if you have double-sided paper so that you have a different pattern on the inside and it's just not plain. So it has a d different pattern on the other side. So what I did is I used the faux bow or the faux leather bow. I added a piece of jewelry in the center. And this is a, a blingy butterfly. And I thought that that came out super cute as well. So I made that one, and then the last but not least, this one is super cute. I love this. This is from the Happy Day collection by Die Cuts with the View that I picked up from Joann's. And this one, basically the same thing. And I did use red line tape this time for these purses, and it worked like a charm. But with the bows, um, I actually used my glue gun to glue it on. I put a little center here. This used to be an earring. 
but I thought that came out cute. But what I did with this one was a little bit different. Um, I had a scrap piece of paper inside the, the stack that I had used. And all I did was I made a simple card to go with the purse. Isn't that super cute? And I used, I think this is um, Magnolia. I don't remember what this um, die was. But all I did was I glued a bow there. And it came out super cute. And it perfect because it says, hello, friend. So I thought that would be cute. Um, it was just something that I was playing with. Put your little gift in there. And then you have your um, card, which came out super cute. So these are the paper purses, you guys, that I made. I hope you guys like them. You guys have to try them out because they are super easy and so much fun to make. Um, I will link down below, like I said, May May made it. She made a very easy tutorial. I'll link that down below as well as my last video where I made other purses. It was the first time, so I think this time around it came out super duper cute. So I hope everybody enjoys their day today here in Southern California. It is super hot. Um, so for the most part, I've been cleaning my craft room, staying indoors, and then probably during the evening when it cools down, we'll go out um, to an outdoor shopping mall to walk around and have dinner and maybe do a little bit of shopping. So we'll see. But again, um, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.